Hi guys, welcome to Hanging at Hecrot. Today we're going to talk about warm-blooded animal hibernation and how that works. There are two types of hibernation. So there's true hibernation, it's kind of like the hibernation you're taught at at school, or, and then there's torpor, which we're going to talk about a little later. So true hibernation is the state of the deep sleep that an animal goes into in order to survive winter. So the food is very scarce and the temperatures are very extreme, so they can't survive that really cold weather. So when an animal goes into hibernation, its body temperature lowers, its breathing slows way down, and its heartbeat slows down as well. And it goes into a deep, deep sleep for months. So it's, an animal goes into hibernation is triggered by the light levels. So daylight savings, the day it starts getting darker earlier so this triggers an animal as well as hormonal changes within that animal that triggers it to go find its location to its hibernaculum or its den to sleep in the winter so true hibernators there's actually a small list of mammals we talked about the snakes and the turtles and the salamanders and frogs last video so this video um, we have our mammals and that's a very short list of true hibernators so you have your bats your chickmunks and your groundhogs most animals are the torpor, which we'll talk about in a few minutes. So this is Mr. Groundhog's den, or burrow, and Mr. Groundhog is sleeping for the winter, so groundhogs are true hibernators. So when a groundhog is active in the summer, it has a heartbeat of 80 beats per minute. When the temperature gets colder and it starts hibernating, it goes into its den and it sleeps, its heart rate goes all the way down from 80 beats per minute to 4 beats per minute. And this body temperature in the summer is about 96 degrees. And it goes from 96 degrees all the way down to 38 degrees when it's hibernating. So both his heart rate and his temperature goes way down. And that's part of how hibernation works. For an animal to survive winter, either active or when they hibernate, they actually eat a lot in the fall, late summer, fall, trying to gain that fat. So animals gain a layer of fat called brown fat and they, they store it in their shoulders and neck area and also around those important internal organs. So it's very important for an animal to gain a lot of fat in order to survive hibernation. So they live off that fat storage when they're sleeping because they, they do consume less energy and that does keep them warm and also gives them enough energy to survive sleeping through the winter. And in the spring when they wake up, whatever's left of that fat that they have burns super fast and gives them that energy to get out and get that food they need. So torpor is the term used for partial hibernation or light sleep. So the list of animals for that is your possums, your raccoons, and skunks, and actually black bears. So partial hibernators do sleep when the temperatures are extreme, so they do sleep. They go into that sleep, um, again, like hibernation, their heart rate lowers, their temperature, their body temperature lowers, and their breathing slows way down. But they do it for short periods of time. So when the temperature is warmer, you have that warm winter, they will wake up and walk around. And then they'll go back to sleep when the temperature gets extreme again or the food gets scarce. So it's a partial hibernation or a light sleep hibernation as some people like to call it. So let's learn a little bit about animals who do that. So raccoons do torpor or partial hibernation and when the weather gets extremely cold and the food gets scarce they look for places to hibernate. So that light sleep, so they use tree cavities such as this one right here and they curl up inside there and sleep until the temperature gets warm and they wake up again and you can find some tracks of raccoons in the snow, that's a fun thing to look for. And then when the weather gets colder again, they find another place to sleep for a little bit. So that's partial hibernation or torpor.
Well, I hope you learned a little bit more about hibernation and torpor and please come out for a hike and I hope to see you on the trails. Special thanks to Community First Credit Union for being our community partner in education. Oh, I was because of their support, we're able to provide awesome programs for you. Special thanks again to Community First Credit Union for being our community partner in education.